Hello, everybody. I'm back again uh, just to show you guys what I've been doing. Uh, like I said, I'm doing a little bit at a time. Uh, I wanted to show you guys something real quick. You see um, all these trees all in my yard. I got that blue paint on them. I'm going to be cutting down a bunch of these trees and to free up some space i hate this i hate this area here this is just a dead zone can't really do anything in there little saplings uh grow all the time like these things here these little tiny little trees are just regrowing all over the place and you know this is a whole bunch of good space that i could be using and so I'm going to try to do something here to expand my garden into this area. Um, that's a whole lot of good space. One of the first things that I actually really want to um, put out here. Um, so let me come out here a little bit. It's my walkway to the forest out there. What I want to do is probably right here and possibly right behind this flowering tree uh either right here or near where that one is i want to actually put my apple trees out there the apple trees are growing um they're just i mean they're growing up pretty nice their stalks are getting nice and fat down here at the bottom. So um, I want them to actually be in an environment where they can grow just like the rest of these trees are growing. And where, you know, constantly get the leaves down there from the forest out there. So that's just nothing but compost. Just, um, just, uh you know giving them nutrients all the time so that they can grow healthy and strong and you know i think that'll be a good place for them they're right next to the garden they'll be far enough apart from one another so it wouldn't be any problems but uh that's that over here my peach and my plum tree they're still kind of small so i want to keep them in these buckets until I get them strengthened enough. They're not dead, but they do have to, especially after last year being attacked and bro being broken, I have to nurse these back to health. So, yeah, so that's that with, uh, with these. But these two, uh, my apple trees, I think I can possibly um in the fall i'll possibly be able to get these out and plant them in that area now i may not plant them like here and there i might plant one here and then might plant one over here on that side we'll see we'll see but i just need to clear out all these trees that i really hate anyway and see if I can do something. If I get rid of those trees, I might be able to till down in here and start putting some things in. Because there's something, guys, that I really want to start doing and I really want to build into my garden is a medicinal herb garden. I'm really, 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 really planning this out now. Um, let me show you guys. This is what I was talking about. I was going to be using that table to lift up my herbs. Um, still got my lone parsley in here that uh, has survived from last year. It just grew back on its own. So take that all off the yellowing and leave the healthy green. And I also planted some seeds in here, some parsley seeds, the uh, curly parsley seeds in here. And 
you know, see where that's at. I'm going to compost these. <clears throat> I haven't planted anything in here yet. I was just doing the design, seeing how I'm going to actually do this. So I'm going to actually get some more wood because I actually love the way this is. And so I can get about six pots up here. So that'll be things that the animals like to eat. I'll put up high. Um, I'll talk about the animal thing in a little bit. I'll put those up high and things that the animals don't really like to eat, like my mint down here, which is starting to grow well again this year. Uh, this would be the third season for this mint. Um, third season, right? I only paid $2 for this mint, guys. So, so think about this, guys. This is what we talk about when we say you're saving money. Now, I might have paid $2.50. So I bought one mint plant for $2.50. You put it in the center of the pot. You get the biggest pot you want. Mint takes over the pot. And then mint grows up every single year, $2.50. When if you went to the market and wanted to buy some mint, you would get a buy about that much mint in one of those little plastic containers and that'll cost you $2.99 or $2. So I'm going on my third year off of $2.50. So <clears throat> there are some other things like mint that the animals don't like, like rosemary. Like I don't think they like to eat sage. I think those really strong smelling um, herbs they don't really like. So I'll put those, I can keep those lower on the ground but the ones like parsley like cilantro uh the lemon balm things like that that they actually love to eat i'm just going to try to keep them up a little higher and do that so let's just talk about what i have planted real quick um, of course you guys know i stay with a lettuce out here so we're doing romaine right now just um regular green and red romaine lettuces those are all cabbages uh, that we're working with um, they were supposed to be white cabbage but I think I end up with uh, <laughs> uh, red cabbage I don't know how but we'll see uh, I planted a couple other things in here I don't know if they're gonna grow uh, some elephant garlic and a couple other things i can't remember maybe some beets or something like that i think i put in here we'll see if they grow the seeds that i have are really old and i, I don't think they're going to work uh, but we'll see over in here uh i did grow some stuff so so guys i used all my uh that container now is empty of um compost i used it to fill up all three of these and about half of this so i had to use one of those two bags that was sitting on the ground here uh to to finish it off and so in here along here are my cucumbers that i'm growing so they should grow up here and then along here i have string beans growing these are the pole beans that's going to grow up here i don't have anything in the center right here because i don't know if i'm going to grow melons this year i'm debating we'll see if not if i'm not going to grow melons i'm going to put some more string beans here and we'll just be growing beans i got more beans over here growing up in this little area here I don't know if you guys can see it's a little bit uh, lighter brown this square area here I am growing something that we um, we just started really liking which is uh, turnips so this will be the first time I'm growing turnips those seeds are new so I don't have a I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with the seeds so that's that over here we have collards that we have growing. Oh man, I just, the wind just blew over my, my grill over there, guys. So these are collards, these are growing well. And behind the collards is a bunch of uh, spinach that I put in. 
again those seeds are getting kind of old so you know when your seeds are getting old if you save your seeds and your seeds are getting old that means that the chances of them uh propagating and being fertilized is smaller you have a smaller chance of actually getting something so what you do is you just sow more when you first get a patch of seeds you know you're putting a little bit here a little bit there a little bit here a little bit there when you got old seeds just go ahead and sprinkle them out and whatever grows grows whatever doesn't doesn't and you just see what you what you have i might get something here i might not we'll see over here you know my favorite is kale so i'm growing some kale over here and i'm growing some i can't remember the name of it uh geez what's it called it's it's in the uh cabbage family but it actually grows a head like a ball head i've been wanting to grow these things for forever and i just haven't so i planted those in here again those seeds are a couple years old so we'll see if they grow or not and I'm debating how I'm going to do everything over here I might use these things over here to start my medicinal herb garden um, and just use the pots on this side for like my um, tomatoes and peppers because just thinking about what I actually really need I'm growing four peppers four pepper plants in each one of these right I get two tomato plants in each one of these so I can get two different types of tomatoes right I like the in indeterminate ones they keep growing they keep giving me fruit all year right so I can get two different ones and then I can do two so that's one, two, three. That'll give me, and four, one, yeah, two, three, four. That'll give me four types of pepper plants that I can grow. And I'll be growing four of those pepper plants in each one, right? So 16 pepper plants, four tomato plants. I think I'm good. So over here, instead of trying to use those two big things to put a dip, some other different types of tomatoes and all that I might just try to start growing um, some perennial or at least just some um, medicinal herbs in here so I'm thinking about things like uh, definitely gonna fill this one up again and grow some uh, what did I have in there last year that worked um, ginger so this is going to be my ginger uh, container. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. I want to grow some of those medicinal flowers like echinacea and all that. You know, with all this uh, COVID thing growing on, I'm starting to think about, you know, long term, you know, if we couldn't get to the, to the uh, you know, to the doctor or whatever like that what kind of things i would need i like i have an aloe plant in the house i'll probably when it gets a little warmer i'm gonna bring out an aloe plant out here to hang out in the garden um you know and that's another reason why i want to kind of clear out some of this because some of those plants are perennials that i want to use but i won't be able to do perennials a lot it's hard to do perennials in containers some perennials uh, don't like it in the containers some of them do like my mint work in a container and I think I might be able to do sage maybe in a container and it continues but some of the other flowering ones like echinacea and um, uh, like the calundrum and like uh, what's the other one that I want I can't remember now but a couple of those other ones if I can grow them in the ground over here then I could actually get them to come back every year. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do. But that's just a quick little tour of the garden, guys. Look, get the, if, if, if this ain't teach you something that you all need to be growing your own food, you need to be growing your own food. I mean, this ain't a game. 
it's time. You know what I'm saying? My blueberries is coming in nicely. Uh, look like some of my raspberry is died off. I'll have to cut the dead pieces away so that my new ones, my fresh ones aren't competing. My blackberries, I still have, these are the bushing blackberries, but there's still some remnants of my old vining blackberries. And they're still in there, so I'm just going to leave them alone. I'm going to let them do their thing. I'll chop them off so that they won't get too long and try to take over different places. But that's it, guys. I'll come on and... um at some point and give you guys a lesson on some things I'll give you guys a lesson on uh, something I, that I'm going to be doing just to show you newbies some, some other stuff but hopefully this is just encouraging you guys to get to growing and to do what you can um, you can grow in anything I'm thinking about um while I'm here, let me talk about it real quick. These uh, milk carts I got here, I'm thinking about like attaching them to the posts here and just having something in them, probably maybe some strawberries or something, growing out of those in different areas. We'll see, we'll see. It's all about being creative. Every year I try to do something a little bit different and uh, we'll see. The next time you guys see the garden, I might actually have it cleaned out and remulched and all that good stuff so it looks nice out here. And uh, we'll see. But I'll show you guys, uh, give you guys a lesson in the next couple days. And that's it. All right, guys, get to growing. Peace out.